transistor. In this video, we will learn how to test transistor using analog multimeter. In this experiment, we will connect A meter and base of this transistor with analog multimeter and we will measure its resistance in forward bias and in reverse bias. In forward bias, we will get less resistance, low value. And in reverse bias, the resistance will be very high. Okay. If you are getting low value in forward bias and very high value of resistance in reverse bias, this transistor is in good working condition. And also, we will learn how to find out the type of this transistor, whether it is NPN or PNP. Objective of this experiment to test transistor using analog multimeter. Apparatus we are going to use in this experiment are transistors, analog multimeter and connecting wires. Now we will test transistor using analog multimeter. This experiment is exactly similar to testing of diode using analog multimeter. What we measured to test diode using analog, we have measured resistance. Similarly, over here, we are going to measure resistance to test transistor. Okay, again the same method, if in forward bias you are getting low resistance and in reverse bias if resistance is very high, this transistor is in good working condition. So this is our testing method. So we will take transistors. Okay, these transistors are here or this type of board is given. So first we will check this transistor. The difference is, difference between diode and this is the main thing for testing. There are three leads, three terminals here. Right? So what we are going to connect? We will connect only A meter and base. We are not going to connect collector of this. And that's why this testing is called actually A meter base testing. It is written here if you can see. Base A meter testing or A meter base testing using analog multimeter. So we will test using these two connections only. Now how do you know which one is base, which one is a meter. So always you have to look at this transistor closely. Before that I will explain from this diagram. Look at this diagram here. Okay. I will enlarge this. Now look. In this diagram you can see one small tag is here. Small part. Right. This indicates this side is or this lead is E means a meter. Middle one is B and this is C. So what we are going to connect? We are going to connect only E and B. I will show you in this transistor also. Okay. Look from here. I will focus properly and again I will enlarge so you can see on this look here can you see this small part here that means what this side is e okay this small tag here i'll show you again so this small tag on this side indicates this terminal is e so now we will connect this with analog multimeter. But again let me remind you about positive and negative in this analog multimeter for resistance measurement. Here we are going to measure resistance. Whenever you are measuring resistance we have to be careful in connection always this COM is for positive. So I am connecting this red wire with 
com. So this is my positive wire now. And we are going to measure ohm. So I am connecting another wire with this. But this is my negative. Okay. Now you will be given two different transistors to test. I am connecting this now. Here on this side is the small tag. Okay. You can see now. So I am connecting with this A. I am connecting positive. Look, what I am saying, I have connected positive means this red wire with this E. And now I am connecting this wire with base. Base is here on this side. I am connecting with this. Now I will check the reading. But, but before that, before that, before connection, you have to adjust the zero also in You have to adjust zero in analog multimeter. I'll switch on this. If it is not exactly on zero, you can use this button to adjust exactly on zero. Now I'll connect it with A meter and base. I'm connecting red wire means positive with E. Okay. And this negative width I am connecting with B. And I will check the reading now. Now, you can see what is the reading here. This reading is very high means infinity. What does it mean? That means this is reverse bias reading. Reverse bias means positive is connected with N of this transistor. Right? First, I will write this reading here in reverse bias my reading is here infinity okay infinity means again i am writing p is connected with negative and n is connected with positive what we have connected positive of multimeter with e a meter of this transistor right and this is reverse bias that means this A meter connection is or A meter is here N. A meter is N type. So base is P type and collector is also N type. Therefore this transistor is the type of this transistor is NPN. Again I will explain with forward bias reading. Forward bias. What I have to change. I will interchange this connection. I am connecting now negative with emitter and positive with base. Now, check the reading. What is the reading here? This reading is 6.5. Our multiplier is 10. You can see. So 6.5 multiplied by 10. So I will write this in forward bias. Again, what is forward bias? For forward bias means P is connected with positive. This reading we got 6.5 multiplied by 10. So we can write 6.5 multiplied by 10 or 65 ohm. Okay, don't forget to write unit. Otherwise you may lose marks for this also. Okay. Now. This is forward bias. Forward bias means P is connected with positive. So look at this. Positive means this red wire. It is connected with base. It is connected with base. That means base is P. Base is P. Red wire. This is positive. Is connected with P. So base is P. That means this emitter and collector this two are n that means what is the type of this so type of this you can see here npn so if you check type from forward bias or reverse bias it will be same right 
so first we have tested this transistor it is p n p n right now with the same method we can check or we can test another tra transistor but before that you have to write the code here code of this transistor code how to write generally the code is given on this transistor code of this i'll show you i will focus this first properly okay it's in very small letters now maybe you can see here it is bc108 you can see this so you have to write this code here bc108 right this is the code type you can write here or different column is given this type is npn now you can repeat the same procedure for another transistor you have to take two readings forward bias and reverse bias if you are getting lower value that means forward bias infinity means reverse bias and from the connection you can say about its type is it npn or pnp so this is the experiment of testing of transistor